Hey guys, Harry Thomas here, and uh, welcome, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to uh, my uh, reaction to the Golden Globes 2024. And Golden Globes are certainly underrated in comparison to the Academy Awards and the BAFTAs, as uh, Golden Globes uh, will uh, uh, sometimes, uh, well, uh, pick the movies I would want more than uh, the academy uh would tend to do and uh this year's golden globes looks like the greatest golden globes in donkey's years i mean this year's golden globes look like pure gold a pun intended as uh, as not only is my favorite movie uh, this uh, year uh barbie uh dominating uh the, the golden globes uh with uh uh, nine nominations, deservedly so. Uh, uh, I knew it could do it, but uh, also uh, Wish received a Best Animated Feature nomination, so uh, uh, take that, haters, and no nomination for Trolls Free Band together. Yes! See, Wish haters, Wish is a good movie after all, and uh, a more worthy Golden Globe nominee than a shitty Trolls Free. And uh, so Disney does uh, have a satisfactory 100th uh, year celebration after all. And uh, uh, even if uh, Wish is not my personal picker to win the Golden Globe, that would still be Across the Spider-Verse, uh, because uh, Across the Spider-Verse uh, was, was just uh, the uh, uh, tour de France of animation uh, this year. But I'm also uh, uh, mightily pleased uh, to see uh, Elemental as a nominee, and even Super Mario Brothers, as I was worried Mario would be snubbed just because it's Illumination. And Barbie received the majority of the nominees that I think the Golden Globes should nominate it for, including uh, Best Picture in terms of musical comedy, and uh, Margot Robbie got a Best Actress nominee. Thank God. Because let's face it, no other actress uh, wowed us uh, more uh, this year than uh, Margot Robbie as a uh, stereotypical Barbie. Like, if she doesn't take home a Best Actress at the Golden Globes, I will be pissed. And she is on top of the world being a four-time Golden Globe nominee now, so uh, fair play to her. Uh, most deserving for the... Uh, greatest actress in 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 history, and all Ryan Gosling and Ken lovers uh, will uh, be uh, celebrating that Ryan Gosling is is uh, has received a Best Supporting Actor nominee, and uh, most uh, critics uh, did praise him as the best performance of the movie, uh, even more so than Margot Robbie, which I personally disagree with. But Gosling, like Margot, was un. Uh, speakably awesome uh, in uh, Barbie, and uh, uh, yeah, w without him the movie couldn't have, have worked either, so uh, yeah, he certainly deserves to take home the awards. Though what is uh, most alarming is that uh, America Ferreira was a snubbed of Best Supporting Actress, uh, which is kind of disgraceful as a uh, uh, yeah, that she won't get recognised, uh, especially for that monologue uh, she is alone. Yeah, I still think America Ferreira is one of the most underrated uh, movie stars working today. I mean, uh, she's not only not, uh, not, doesn't get enough recognition for her contribution to How to Train Your Dragon, but now uh, she uh, won't uh, get uh, enough recognition for Barbie. Uh, she would be the second best uh, in the cast for Barbie, second only to Margot Robbie, of course. But uh, 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 biggest congrats are in order to uh, Greta Gerwig for receiving Best Director nomination. I mean, uh, yeah, she is certainly the queen of uh, all filmmakers. And if Margot uh, also being producer hadn't have picked her to direct, uh, Barbie may not have been, well, uh, the... Uh, 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 the uh, 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 flawless masterpiece uh, that it was. And if Greta could grab a Best Director uh, even over 
Christopher Nolan and Martin Scorsese, then that would be most well deserved because I, unpopular opinion, I think she's a superior filmmaker to them. And that would be uh, an outstanding achievement for women in, in the film industry to have another female to win Best Director. Barbie has also been nominated for a uh, award that I wish the Academy had outstanding achievement in box office because uh, Barbie totally wiped the floor with all other blockbusters in terms of box office takings this year. It helps uh, that I uh, uh, saw the movie four times in cinemas including IMAX uh, and uh, becoming Warner Brothers' uh, biggest movie to date. Uh, so, yeah, Barbie, I think, is going to easily take home this award. Uh, there's there's no other competition. <laughs> and best of luck to uh, the other nominees like Oppenheimer and uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Barbie was certainly the movie that everybody underestimates, and uh, it's uh, proved uh, all the doubters wrong. So, the pink global phenomenon deserves uh, all the golden uh, globes. Uh, uh, get, get it? <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, this award season for 2024 is going uh, to uh, be uh, uh, b Barbie uh, centers. I just know it, and uh, expect uh, Barbie to uh, be uh, mentioned uh, literally in nearly every category in the upcoming Harry Awards and my, my award show. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my reaction. And what are your thoughts on this year's Golden Globes? Uh, and uh, who are you uh, rooting for uh, to uh, be uh, the, the big winners? Uh, please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow and Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all next time when I uh, review a chicken run Dawn of the Nuggets as well as uh, uh, got some a couple of Christmas movies to review and remember movies are us. Bye guys.